I feel like it's just gonna be accustomed for me to look as ridiculous and strange as possible when I do these little uh, videos in here, so we're just gonna roll with it. And um, yes, I do have on a panda shower cap. I am an adult. Hey guys, it's Kat. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Um, in case you're wondering, I have this on my head because I'm touching up my hair, if you can't tell from the blue. But, um, hello, boyfriend. Yes. Um, so my last video that I did on Jessica Uneve surprisingly kind of blew up, I guess. I am a smaller YouTuber. I have less than 300 subscribers, so it was a huge, like, it was, it was really cool to see my last video kind of blow up like that. But um, I hope you liked that video. Um, so I decided with the new information that has come out that I'm going to make a part two because a lot of new information came out after that debate went live. So let's get started. Because I um, have done so much about this situation, like I've really looked into it and it's fucking ridiculous that this crazy bitch hasn't gotten arrested yet. A, pe a lot of people are saying that they, um, were, uh, they had seen that Yaniv had gotten arrested for having illegal weapons in her home because of Blair's livestream, which is true, but they just kind of let her off with a slap on the wrist, so, and to be fair, I don't want to be rude, um, I mean, I fucking hate this bitch, but at the same time, a lot of people are questioning why I'm going to be using she, her pronouns. It's because I'm used to calling her Jessica, and when I hear a female name, I automatically use female pronouns. But I do not think that Jessica is trans in any way. And before you call me transphobic, I talked about that in my last video. I think she's using that label to be a predator. But anyway, let's, let's get to the talking points here. Now, I don't know the full situation with all the proof that has come out or how Blair even knew that it was Jessica that did this, but apparently Jessica has doxxed Blair. Um, not surprised, but at the same time, people can get killed by getting doxxed, people can get harassed, people can get shit sent to their house. Like, that's fucked up. Like, you don't fucking leak somebody's address. Like, don't fucking do that. That's awful. I do really believe that there is definitely something wrong with Jessica up here and the fact that her family is literally doing nothing about it just makes it so much worse. And the fact that Jessica is using the trans label, I think, is what's making it so that her family isn't doing anything about it. Like, oh no, my daughter's not schizophrenic, my daughter's uh, not a narcissist, she doesn't have a problem with delusion of grandeur. She just thinks that she's a woman and is transgender and that justifies her behavior. And I support her because she's transgender, not because she has a problem with delusion of grandeur. Also, side note, can we just talk about how she actually looks like Shrek? <laughs> like a white Shrek? I know Shrek is green, but, um... If you just look at her, like, looking at her makes me angry. She's one of those people that you just look at and you're just like... <laughs> like, she actually looks like Shrek. Like, she's fugly. <laughs> what are you doing in my swamp? The next talking point that I want to talk about is the law. The, um, thing that Jessica used to justify all of her points about getting women's businesses shut down and going into women's bathrooms where she is not welcome is first of all Blair talked about this she never changed her gender legally she never did she talked about um how there is one form in British Columbia the C Canadian law that you just need to sign one form to change your gender Blair White talked about this in another interview um where she said that she looked into it and in British Columbia you have to have a doctor sign off in order to legally change her gender, and Jessica did not do that. So, no, uh, they did not change their gender. We're just gonna go with they, them pronouns for now. But Jessica kept talking about the law over everything else. Look, it is legal for me to open carry and have a firearm in the United States. Um, I have my own opinions on gun control, but I'm not gonna talk about that here. Um, it is legal for me to open carry and have a firearm in the United States. That said, I am not going to go into Walmart with a holster. Maybe Walmart wasn't a good example. I am so sorry. I'm not going to go into the grocery store with a full holster full of guns and demand that somebody provide me a mail service 
just because I identify as male. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, you can say, first of all, you didn't legally change your gender, so that completely outlaws your bathroom argument about, oh, I identify as female, I'm legally female. So, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm legally female, so I have to go in the women's bathroom no matter how I present, or I'm breaking the law. That I don't give a fuck, I don't give a flying fuck. You didn't change your gender to legally female. You're still legally male. So that outlaws your bathroom argument. It's fucking creepy that you go into here, women's bathrooms dressed as a man. That's fucking creepy. That would be the equivalent of like Blair White did a video where she like walked into the men's restroom and she actually got kicked out of the restaurant because she was presented as female and walked into the men's restroom. Um, so that's fucked up, and also that would be like the equivalent of like, look at me for a second, I have short hair, I'm wearing a bodysuit, and women's shorts, and I have my tits out. If I walked into the men's bathroom and said that I'm there because I identify as male while making no attempt to pass as such, I would get weird looks from people and probably get thrown out of the restaurant. That's the fucking problem. You always talk about how the law, the law, the law, the law. We always, we all talked about how Canadian laws regarding transgender people need serious reform. Like, they're way too lax. Y you need more of a controlled system in that realm. But that said, it doesn't matter what the law says. You using the law to justify being creepy and putting women out of business is not okay. You're using the law to do horrible things to people. Most people like to minimize the discomfort of other people. You, your entire image is based off of hurting people. You have traumatized young girls by sending them creepy messages, you've put women out of business, and you've walked into women's bathrooms presenting completely as male. So what's good, bitch? What's good? And as for you living in Canada, I'm not sure how many times you've been arrested um, from the Blair lot, the, let's just say just the one time that it was publicized that you were arrested. You've only been arrested once. Regardless, you are using the law to your benefit to hurt other people and it's disgusting. And you got arrested for having illegal weapons and they let you go with a slap on the wrist regardless of the fact that there's multiple like pieces of evidence that you have traumatized young girls and a shit ton of other stuff and have put women out of business. It's disgusting. You are a monster and you need to be wiped off the face of the earth. Now, to be fair, I am, I lean more to the left politically, so I do not support rebel media, but because I've looked so much into the situation so I can make these videos and voice my opinions and facts on the situation, a lot of rebel media videos have been talking about um, Yaniv recently, so I've been looking into those. It seems like every time that Yaniv is out, that they are with their mother, at least in most of these videos. They did two videos on Yaniv and, like, with them in said video, and then they did an interview with Blair White. But in these videos where Yaniv was approached by Rebel Media people trying to interview them, uh, their mom was with them. And, um, first of all, their mom fucking assaulted somebody, and then Yaniv themselves assaulted somebody. That's not okay. So their mom obviously supports them in all of this, which is fucking crazy. I'm thinking after- don't mind my tattoo, it's healing. Um, it seems that in most of this, they clearly have a mental health problem, and like I said before, their family is just like thinking that oh no they don't have a problem with delusion or grandeur or anything they're just trans and getting discriminated against when this person is clearly a sociopath has a problem with delusion of grandeur and is a narcissist it seems like the mom just doesn't care and is just supporting them because she thinks they're trans when they're not and just the fact that Yaniv is out here assaulting people when they get confronted about the whole thing they try to defend themselves by using the law as a way to get around hurting other people um and then when they get approached by it in person uh, they wanted to defend themselves so bad and they keep defending themselves on twitter but the moment they get actually get approached by people wanting to interview them and talk it out they assault those people so that's really fucked up and I think that's gonna be my last talking point, but I seriously hope that me, Blair, and anybody else, all these drama channels that are talking about it are the reason that Yaniv gets put in jail. 
um and i will update you on the situation and maybe make a third video if it gets any juicier i don't know but i hope you liked the video if you did like comment subscribe all that fun stuff hit that little bell for notifications uh and until next time have a good day or night or whatever